skeptical. Well, number four, high levels of empathy, and they really care about their customers. These two, ambition and empathy, are the two keys to sales success. By empathy, we mean that we care about our customers and we would never sell them something that we felt was not good for them. There are many salespeople who will sell under any terms or in any circumstances, but they never last. The truly successful salespeople are the ones who feel that they will be dealing with this customer 20 years from now, and every single thing they do with this customer today, they're going to have to live with for the rest of their sales careers. The others look upon every sales transaction as make it and get out. So high levels of empathy go hand in hand with high levels of ambition. Why? I'll tell you why. It's because customers are smarter today than they've ever been in the history of the world, and they can see through us like through saran wrap. If we are not seriously concerned about their well-being, they pick it up instantly. They don't have to think about it. They know immediately when the salesman is selling for himself or when the salesman is genuinely concerned about his or her best interest. That's why genuine levels of empathy as opposed to false levels of empathy are absolutely essential for success. The successful salesperson is intensely goal-oriented. We know that every single study done at every single university, the most successful men and women are very, very intensely goal-oriented. They know how much they're going to earn each week, each month, each quarter, each six months, and each year. They know how many calls that they have to make, and not only that, they know what they're going to do with the money. We're going to do a brief goal-setting exercise in just a second, but it's absolutely essential that you know exactly how much you intend to earn this year. If you don't know that, it's like trying to shoot at a target in the fog. Even if you were the finest marksman in the world, you're not going to hit a target in the fog. You've got to know exactly what you're aiming at. And number six, they have above average willpower and determination to succeed and to keep on keeping on in the face of disappointments. They're willing to work hard. They're willing to go the extra mile. They're willing to pay the price of success in advance. One of the things that we find is that a truly honest person realizes that there is no such thing as something for nothing. There's no easy way to be successful. There's only the hard ways. And we have a lot of stories in our society about people who stumbled into some career and made a lot of money quickly. And these stories pollute people's minds. The reason why we hear those stories is because they're so rare. The only way, and the longitudinal studies, a 20-year study out of New York recently indicated that most people make their maximum earnings sometimes after their 40th year. And that every single person who achieved long-term wealth and success in this study, and they followed over 1,500 people for 20 years, achieved it doing their job extremely well, working hard, going the extra mile, putting in the little bit of extra time and effort. Nobody ever made money quick. I think that's the worst myth that exists in our society is that there's a fast, easy way to make money. There isn't any. And chasing the will of the wisp of the quick buck is the surest way to destroy your character and to destroy your career. I've seen lots of people who made a lot of money during the booms, and where are they now? Where are they now? They're all gone. The ones who made a whole lot of money in a hurry, what they did is because their self-concept did not adjust to the level of income, they went through it. The great tragedy is that many of these people will spend the rest of their life trying to find another quick, easy way to make money. And they'll never realize that money doesn't come quickly and easily. It comes only with persistent, hard work continuously over an extended period of time. So. There's no easy way to become successful. Another characteristic is the top of the psychological makeup of the salesperson. They believe in themselves. They believe in their product. They believe in their company. And they believe in the value of your product to your customer. This is so important. We know that you can never get your customer to believe in your product any more than you do. If you don't believe in it, your customer can't believe it. It's almost like you have to fill up your own cup of belief as high as the customer's cup of belief has to be filled before he'll purchase it. This is why it's so important that we sell something we believe in. Anybody, everybody here has had the experience of selling something they didn't particularly think was great. Did you have very much success selling it? No. You, you cannot put your whole heart into what you're selling. You can never be successful. I have many people come up to me in, in, in courses and they say, you know, I don't really like this product, but I really want to be successful at selling it. I say that the one excludes the other. That you cannot possibly be successful unless you love it. The competition is too great out there. You cannot just even be lukewarm about your product. You have to believe that your product is absolutely excellent and that your customer can really, really benefit from using your product or service. If you don't believe that deep down in your heart, you'll very seldom have the conviction to be able to convey it. And you just look at the top salespeople. The top salespeople love what they're selling. They believe in it passionately. They'll defend it. They'll talk about it at night. They go to bed at night thinking about their product, and they wake up in the morning. They can hardly wait to talk to people about it. Look at the top salespeople from the most professional companies, the IBMs, the Xerox, the Hewlett Packards, and you'll find that these people are literally fanatical about their product. That's why they're so successful at selling so much of it.